All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with the corrupt view a group of women that cannot stop talking about Donald Trump. This is just what they do. I kind of mention this almost every time I react to the view. They cannot stop talking about Donald Trump. And then you know what they always do? They always add a lot of guests that's pretty much 95% of the time don't like Donald Trump. And now look at this. They done got Stormy Daniels on the show. And you already know they pretty much finna go and talk about Donald Trump. Because this is where whooping them just, they love the campaign on her, uh, Anna, Joy Behar, Sonny Holston. That's what they, that, that right there is exactly what they do. Anything they can do to try to damage Donald Trump's reputation, to try to defame this man, bring other people on the show to defame this man. And we all just waiting on Donald Trump to say, you know what? I'm finna sue every last one of them. Because this is what they constantly do. But like I said, this one right here is coming from Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go over. Go show Doug some love. Let him know that I sent you. But I already know they're going to allow this woman to get on here and say something crazy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. Like I said, hit that like button for me so more people can see this video. And it'll definitely help out the channel a lot. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, dive straight into it. Because I already know it's going to be some crap that's going to be said. So uh, let's go. The View thought they'd uh, tidy up the place, make it a little classier by inviting on porn star Stormy Daniels on hmm. the show. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. I don't want to go too hard on Stormy Daniels because a lot of guys have already gone way too hard on her. Uh, <laughs> I just think hookers and porn stars. Oh, my God. Hey, that was a good one right there. I don't even pause the video that early, but I got to get Doug his flowers right there. That was, a, that was a good one right there. Listen to what Doug just said. Wow, that got me there. On the show, welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. I don't want to go too hard on Stormy Daniels because a lot of guys have already gone way too hard on her. Uh, I just that was think funny. Hookers and porn stars and things, they're tragic. They're always tragic. You know, mm -hmm. I have daughters, and the these females have always been taken advantage of by feminists first. Yep. Uh, and then out of convenience, they're going to try and score some points against Trump. When you tell me uh, how they do. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's been yeah. six years. It feels like a thousand years and also like two hours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know, it's, it's, it's the weirdest feeling. It's, it's almost like being in a time warp. And suddenly the th it feels like it's been a thousand years and also two hours at the same time. It sounds like Stormy Daniels' dialogue is written by Kamala Harris. Because um, you'll see, I didn't know anything about Stormy Daniels before I saw this interview. Mm -hmm. And now that I've seen her, I think she really is a empty-headed, promiscuous gold digger, and she admits as, admits as much. Pretty much. If this is the kind of women that The View is holding up as an example. Wow. You know, like I, I see people and their kids are a certain age. I'm like, well, you were just born. But then I look at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, no, I've aged like 100 years. <laughs> She's what they called ridden hard and left out in the rain. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, if you live that kind of a lifestyle, you're going to age a lot more. Stormy, stay. out of the sun um it's just it's the weirdest feeling yeah. to be in this situation where time is kind of not real yeah. now she sounds like stephen hawking she like she read the nature of time or something time's not real okay it's abstract the a theory versus the b theory of time and the sad part about it is or the tricky part is that i had started to do really well things had gotten quiet mm -hmm. i had moved clearly porn stars love quiet Boy, you know, boy, they want to get, they don't like that limelight. That's one thing we know about people who have sex on public, on camera with strangers for money is they don't like attention. It's like that. And then suddenly the indictment happens and all of this stuff. And it's, yeah. I was just telling you, so I was like 2018 all over again. Yeah, it's 2018. Who did that? Is that Trump's fault? No, it's not Trump who brought it up. It's the Democrats that did. See, Trump ran for president and they go, here, we found this hooker that we can use as a campaign device mm -hmm. and uh, another part of the yep. lawfare to uh, scandal against Trump. And I'm not weighing if Trump did or didn't pay her anything. I'm not, there's no way I could know that. I will only say that Stormy Daniels, if you're complaining that you're being brought back up and put in the limelight, it's not Trump that put you back in the line, not limelight. 
sweet pea. It's the Democrat Party Facts. who are using you. Yep. But you're used to being used by people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except wow. now they're more vicious because they've been encouraged. Yeah. Yes. So oh, put the Hillary Clinton high beams back. P put them back in the box. Stormy Daniels. Look at those eyeballs. This is a crazy look. Scary. Scary. Mm. Call the police. That's crazy. Click. Click the high beams off. There's a little switch right next to the steering wheel, and you'll go right back down. Uh, so over yes. the, and and commended. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because over the course of the scandal, you have been threatened and you know, targeted with death threats, etc. Oh, yeah. oh my God! <laughs> well, targeted with death threats, but also paid millions of dollars of hush money. You've got you forgot the payout part, Stormy, where you've been paid. Um, I'm worried about your daughter when I watch the, the film, you know, um, and now the threats have gone up tenfold. Even Michael Cohen is warning you to be careful. He's concerned about your safety. Yeah. So um, this is the Democrat roll out there of concern for your safety. They're not really concerned. They do not care. But they have to pretend like every serial killer is out to get them. Right. They have to pretend like every Trump MAGA guy has a torch and he's coming with a pitchfork and that we're prone to violence. Remember Fonnie Willis? put the barriers out on the streets of Fulton County. That's what they're doing for Stormy Daniels is, you're, I'm worried for your safety. No, I'm more worried about our safety with uh, the people that are pursuing Trump that are right. absolutely near criminal sexual deviants. The Biden administration is for breaking down all of those boundaries, including age limits. I'm more worried about them than about Trump supporters. So tell me about that. You know, are you worried too, or is it worse? Tell us a little about it's that. It's different. So in the past, you know, the first time around, there was a more, there was like, it was the frequency and the amount was a lot more. Wow. But it was more, you know, superficial, like just calling me like names mostly associated with my job. Right. Or that I was just a gold digger or, or somehow profiting off of all of this, which. Okay, hold on. Her job is to. She's paid to have sex on camera. That's her job. And she's that she's a gold digger. That is, if she ever did sleep with Trump, she did it for money. That's a gold digger, okay? You go after a rich guy and you literally hook up with him for money. Right, and he's exactly right. And another thing that's throwing me off is that look at this this shirt or blouse, whatever that is she got on with all them skulls on it. It's just like you couldn't pick anything else to wear when you decided to go to the view. You couldn't pick any other thing to wear, but you got us <laughs> with all them skulls on it. And to me, that just came to the top of my head. I'm like, that just looked crazy to me. But then you got Joy Behar. L listen to the crap that Joy Behar, she loves to say that. Was they going to do this to you? Was they going to do this to you? It's always about Trump with Joy Behar. She going to see that's the thing. They bring people on that show because they want them to, to get them some ammunition, get them something, something bad about Trump that they can just run with. And then you see all the dumb made up stuff that Joy Behar constantly does every single day. It, it is just crazy. I mean, some of these questions, that, and I'm telling you, you got whooping them. They just sitting back, just waiting on her to say something uh, bad about Trump, so they can just run with it. So that why would they invite Stormy Daniels on the show? Why? Because all of them are crooked, and they looking for a headline. That's what they looking for. Oh, was you threading? They said you was threading. You was this. See, that's what they do. Start running with them false narratives. So she's guilty of all those things that people have called her. I mean, that's mm. what she is. Pause for a second. Yeah. Uh, you don't get paid to be in a documentary, people. Like, yeah. I did this movie and I got I didn't get paid. Well, You're you as don't a doc paid to appear at shows either. No, no you guys are not paying me today. <laughs> yeah, Stormy, uh, documentaries have never paid money. I was in a documentary too. They didn't pay me. That's how it goes. Uh, the things that people pay you for, by the way, on camera, uh, yeah, you're, you're used to making that kind of money, and mm -hmm. it's not because you're a great actor. It's the same reason why people have always paid women to do that, both in private and on camera. Yep. I don't justify it. It's not okay. It's not. And it's funny that they 
she trying to put this on Donald Trump that Donald Trump did something to her when she's a porn star that and slept with numerous and probably hundreds of men. And so since Donald Trump is Donald Trump, let's just go out to him because he's rich. He's got money. So I'm just going to go out to him. This, I mean, how can these type of cases even survive? It just don't make sense. This woman is a porn star. And she just calls out Donald Trump because of who he is and what he got. Like, oh, my God, bro. I'm telling you, uh, that's the reason why I be constantly saying that the system is just corrupt. It is screwed. It is just messed all the way up. My God. Good. Look, if you can't find someone to love you, you have to pay someone to love you. And I don't want to pay anyone to have to love me. But some of you women are good at getting money from men to pay them for affection as yep. if they earned it. Mm -hmm. I like earning intimacy without having to pay for it. Right. I got a mug. <laughs> I, did, I did get a mug, <laughs> which I'm very excited about. Oh. But um, people think that I did it for the money, and what they don't understand is as the subject of a documentary or going on a show like this or 60 Minutes, which is why I chose to come out the first time, I made zero. But I didn't get paid anything, but it cost me everything. everything. Yeah. 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 But whose fault is that? Again, you're getting all of this media service from The View. You're being heralded on a show even though you're wearing a cloak. See, literally. And that just goes to show you right there, she's looking for money. Just like the Dems is using, use E. Jean Carroll to put that dumb fake lawsuit on Donald Trump. And time out, he got to pay her $83 million. Now they, then they use Stormy Day. It's like they, they constantly trying to find women to say that Donald Trump did something to them. To try to stop people from voting for Trump, that's these type of allegations people run uh, run with. It, boy, boy, boy. Really made of skulls, human skulls. Um, the View invited you on to tell your story. And given you're addicted to attention, you've done this your whole life, you've gone on camera yep. because you love the attention, you're here on The View. And you get all these... You get 60 Minutes does a thing on you. You get a documentary done on you. Um, and so there was these times where things were quiet and, and things like that. But initially it was about, oh, she's just out for the money or she's a gold digger or she's, you know, she's a slut. And I'm like, award-winning slut. Thank you. <laughs> but She actually admits it, that she is an award-winning slut. That's how she calls herself. That she is, is literally an award-winning slut. And she does it for money. And she's an attention whore yep. on camera, the yep. definition of it. So those aren't even insults. That's what she calls herself. Um, <laughs> but this time around, it's not as many. Yeah. Good. But they're, but they're worse. They're, but they're worse. Why do you think that is? And they're not hiding. Yeah. Uh -huh. No. They're like, I've had people text me. Yeah. from their actual phone number. Yeah. And I'm just like, of course you're a Trump supporter because you're not even good at being bad. Yeah. yeah. That's a huge compliment to Trump supporters that we're not even good at being bad. They tried texting her, I don't know. But hmm. the view women who are supposed to be these enlightened, feminist, female power women are laughing at this porn star uh, cackling with glee that she's going after Trump. This is the future that the view sees for your daughters, men, guys. They don't care at this all. This is the view's vision for your family. This is what a woman is to the view. Don't sell your body, Stormy. Stop selling yourself. You don't have to sell yourself. Roxanne, you don't have to sell yourself tonight, Stormy. Go be a go be a holy woman. I yes. said in some interview or somewhere, I believe, that they're more like suicide bombers this time around. Okay, here we go. Now we're back to Trump followers or terrorists, suicide bombers. See, they what they do. <laughs> go to talking about Donald Trump supporters. They terrorists, they bombers, they this, they that. Putting a, and this is what they do, run with all these false narratives to try to get paid. This one type, oh, I did a documentary and I didn't even get paid. So now just, just look at the whole situation. This right here, the same with E.G. and Carrie, it's just a money grab for these people. These women just want money. And they figure going after Donald Trump will do it. And I, and I just hope they don't get nothing because this is just dead wrong to be sitting up here lying on the president. I don't know anything about no hush money if he, uh, Donald Trump paid her hush money. I don't know anything about that. I'm pretty sure a lot of us don't know. 
But only thing we can go by is what we hear them say that comes out their mouth. And to me, it's just their stories just do not add up with what they be saying. The way this woman talk is all about money. When E.G. and Carrie went on their show, she went to, if you was an R victim, why would you go on the show embracing, oh, I'm going to buy this. You want something? I'm going to buy you something. Who, who talks like that? That right there is what made me say, this can't be true. It's just all about money. Storm from Blonde Stormy Daniels, everybody. Here comes the genius is in the room. Political commentary. Trump supporters are like suicide bombers. Mm. We haven't heard, don't, don't worry, Stormy. We haven't heard those kinds of threats and that kind of stuff with J6ers being terrorists, et cetera. Mm -hmm. That just means you're a Democrat. Where they honestly truly believe that they are being patriotic and that I am like the devil. Yeah. I don't think you're the devil, and I don't think people that are going after you are necessarily patriotic, the definition of patriotic. So I think you're wrong on both counts. Is uh, you can be a patriot, Stormy. Uh, turn your back on the Bidens. Turn your back on feminists that want to destroy women and whore you out and your daughter out for other men's pleasure and for money. You know, shout out to Doug, man. Shout out to Doug for another great video because I had no idea that Stormy Daniels went on a view, but I'm not surprised. It's the view. If they more than likely, like I said, 95% of the time, they're going to invite people on there that don't like Donald Trump. And then if they do invite somebody on there that do like Donald Trump, they want to argue with them. They want to yell at them. They want to scream at them. And the producers, the, the whoever the owner, they just let them get away with this crap. And that's why they constantly be getting sued because they run their mouth too much. And Whoopi should know about that. But hey, they still let them do it. But we're going to call them out. And uh, like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching. And I catch y'all in the next one.